What is up, Trust True? For this Trust to Impress, and I am Baby B A C K back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how I created this bomb, fluffy, flexi rod set. So, if you are interested in seeing how I created this look and what products I use, then stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I am going to be starting this look off by taking down this old ponytail. I wore this ponytail for seven days. It was the perfect protective style. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this invisible ponytail look from start to finish, then make sure you check out that video in the description box below. It was the perfect protective style for last week. So as you can see now, I am just removing those tracks from my real ponytail and taking the hairpins out i did not use any type of glue for this style and once i finish removing the tracks out of my hair i can unbraid my natural hair and go ahead and start the detangling process you can see that i only used seven hairpins for the style so it was not tight it was very low manipulation and low tension and my hair did not shed much when I took it down. Now I'm doing a hot oil treatment on my scalp. I try to do this hot oil treatment pretty much every time that I shampoo my hair. It's really good for the scalp and it promotes healthy hair growth. Once I finish applying this hot oil treatment to my scalp, I normally let it sit for as long as I possibly can, sometimes even overnight. In this case, I did actually allow it to sit overnight. And it is the best feeling on your scalp when you've just worn a protective style. At this point, I have finished the scalp treatment. I finished shampooing my hair and deep conditioning my hair as well. So now you can see I've sectioned my hair off into four sections. I added coconut oil to my hair. I added this daily oil moisturizer by Cantu Shea. And I'm also going to add lot of body setting lotion. And the moisturizer and the coconut oil especially, you'll be able to see it kind of sitting on my hair. But no worries because once I do the blow drying, not blow drying, once I sit under the hair dryer and everything dries, the heat is going to melt all of the products into my hair. The Lotta Body product that I'm using is the Foaming Mousse that has shea oil added. I think it's coconut oil and shea oil that's added into the product. And I love how that product gives a really pretty shine. I'm using very small um, flexi rods. These are not the smallest ones that I have, but they're pretty tiny. I would say probably one fourth inch is probably the size. I'm not exactly sure, but it's somewhere between one fourth and one half. 
and I'm using the same parting section that I always use for my flexi rods and I'm using the wrap down method. Also, you can see that I'm not spiraling the hair much, meaning you don't see a lot of the flexi rod in between my hair. I'm pretty much making as tight of a spiral of my hair as I possibly can and that's because I want a tighter bouncier fuller look in the end product of course if you want your hair to be more stretched out in the end product then you can spiral the hair more if you are interested in details on how I do my flexi rod sets I will be sure that those videos are linked down in the description box below as well so that you can check those out because I have already done a three video series all about the best flexi rod sets. So I have videos on every single detail from my parting sections to choosing the size of the rods, um, how to dry them best, how to take care of the flexi rods for days to come, how to make your flexi rod sets last the longest, the best products to use, anything that you could possibly think of. I include it in those tips and tricks in those videos. So make sure that you check those out if you are new to flexi rod sets. Also, if you decide to try out my methods or tips and tricks for flexi rod sets and please make sure that you tag me in your videos because i would love to see your results and i can repost those on my community tab so as you can see i'm almost finished with this section of my hair and i do my hair in four separate sections i only filmed this one because this is pretty self-explanatory you know for each section i do the same thing section off the hair detangle the hair add all products and then wrap the hair down the roller and secure the ends in the flexi rod And now for the moment everyone has been waiting for. This is my favorite part of the entire process and that is the takedown. And look how shiny and fluffy that curl is. Now on the right side of my head when I was taking these curls down I did get about one or two sections where my hair was not completely dry 100%. And in that case, normally what I would do is roll those sections back up on the roller and get back under the hair dryer. But I was in a rush when I was creating this look. So therefore, my flexi rod set probably won't last as long as I would like for it to, considering I had those sections that weren't 100% dry. But for the most part, everything was dry and it looks absolutely amazing. And you can see where that oil moisturizer and that coconut oil really melted into my hair. And though that's what helped to create this really shiny look. However, it seems when, I, it seems when I'm doing these flexi rod sets and I add those oils, it could be my imagination, but it seems like it stretches out the dry time. Like it makes my dry time a little bit longer. I'm not sure why. I guess the oil is locking in some of the moisture to the point where it takes longer for it to dry up. 
but it makes beautiful results. I mean, this hair is shiny. Look at this. It is so shiny and the spirals are coming out absolutely perfectly. So of course, you guys already know, once I get all of the pieces unraveled, and you want to do this as gently as possible, once again, I did kind of speed through it a little bit. Uh, but you want to make sure that you unravel the curls as gently as possible so that you don't damage or break the hair. And once you finish this process, you want to very gently separate the curls out so that you can create that volume. And we are looking for a lot of volume. And you pretty much can control the size and the shape of the hair. So separating it out into more pieces is going to create more volume and more frizz. And your set may not last quite as long. And then if you separate, separate the hair out into chunkier pieces, then your style may actually last longer. And you'll be able to separate it more and more and fluff it more and more as the days go by. But I went for straight volume on day one. And that's what I normally do. That's what I like. Now, I added a little bit of the Myel Organics Almond Mint Almond Oil uh, to all of my hair. And as I section my hair, I'm going to make sure that my hands are coated with that mint almond oil. And that is going to reduce some of the frizz, especially since we're going for a lot of volume and separating into very, very small pieces. And also adding that oil is going to help out with those couple of rods that weren't 100% dry. It will help to protect those sections from freezing up and fluffing out and losing their shape a little bit more as well. So you can see I'm getting amazing results with this. I mean, it is coming out exactly the way I want. And not only should you guys check out the videos that are down in the description box below for more tips and tricks on how to make or create the best flexi rod set ever, but you should also check out those videos to see how my hair comes out with different size flexi rods. So using the same texture, same head of hair, you can achieve different looks using different size flexi rods and then also wrapping your hair around the flexi rods in different ways when i do my flexi rod sets i always start with soaking wet hair but you can even create different looks by starting off with blow dried hair or wrapping the hair up the rod rather than down the rod all of those different things change your end result so if you have naturally more of a kinkier or curlier 
um, texture of hair, then I've seen where it works out better for some girls to actually start off with blow dried hair when they're doing flexi rod sets. And I haven't tried that out. I think I've done that once before, but I haven't really explored it, especially not with different size flexi rods. So whenever I do try that, I will be sharing the results with you guys as well. But I love starting off with soaking wet hair simply because the style lasts so long. When you are doing a wet roller set, especially with lot of body setting lotion, I mean, you are set for a few days. And all you have to do is throw the bonnet on at night and shake it out in the morning. All right, so I finally got everything separated out and I'm going to go back and fluff out my roots. And you can use a pick or a raking comb to do that, but I decided to just use my fingertips to fluff my roots out. You can see that it looks really nice with the middle part. And I actually did wear a middle part some days and it also looks really, really good with the side part. All right, so then the only thing left to do to really, really slay this look is to lay the edges. So they already look nice and soft, but I'm just going to define them a little bit so that the, the look as a whole looks a little bit more put together rather than I woke up like this. So that's really up to you. Some people prefer a more natural I woke up like this look. Um, I think especially for camera purposes, it looks a little bit better to polish the look off so i do like to define my baby hairs just a little bit to really set everything off and i don't do a whole lot and i didn't even use gel i just wet the toothbrush all right folks that's the finished look thank you guys so much for tuning in Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I will be doing the 1K giveaway soon. I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you soon.